Are you interested in learning the R programming language? Well, let me show you guys how to get it installed on Linux. What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I want to do a tutorial on how to install and configure the R programming language on Linux and specifically I want to get it installed on Ubuntu. Well, first off, R is a popular programming language that is widely used for statistical computing and data analysis. And like I said in this video, I wanted to go on and cover the step-by-step -step process of getting it installed on Ubuntu 22.04. So let's go on and hop right into it. I'm going to jump over to the virtual machine, show you guys how to get it installed, get your environment set up, as well as install our studio so you can actually start practicing within this environment. Before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right, cool. So we're on Ubuntu 22.04. And like I said, I'm going to show you guys how to get it installed on Ubuntu as well as other Ubuntu based distributions. And you can also do this on Debian. You just have to download a different package, but the, the main package name in order to get the environment installed is the same across those platforms. Now let's go down and get the base installed. And it's basically the package name is our base. And so let's zoom in right fast so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. But all we have to do is type sudo apt updates and you always want to do this before you install anything which is basically update the system and verify that it has the all the latest packages on the system so i always run these commands in tandem so together uh sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade as well as dash y in case there are updates it'll go down and run through those updates it basically answers that question that pops up uh, when you do your updates for the packages, uh, if there are any updates, it'll it'll just answer that question and just go right into the upgrade. But as you can see, we don't have any upgrades, so we're good to go. We can go down and clear, but let's get that base installed. And the command to do that is basically sudo apt install. And like I said, the package name is or base, so or dash base. And I'll tab it out so you guys can see, but they do have other versions. They have a base core, uh, the core debug, uh, core dev, as well as the HTML version. But we only want that or base install. So all we got to do is press enter. And this takes a little time because it's a lot of dependencies, a lot of packages that need to be installed uh, for or for the or environment to work. And then also it'll take up about 384 megabytes on the space of the hard drive. And so all we have to do is type Y right there, press enter, and it will go through and install all the dependencies and then get our base installed. Now this is your main environment and you don't even need the IDE installed in order to, you know, use our base. So I'll be back when this finishes because it'll take a little bit of time. All right, cool. So the install is complete. Now, let me show you guys how to test out or to see if it's properly installed on your system and you don't have any issues. And basically, all you have to do is type capital R and press enter and that will drop you down into the or environment and as you can see the version of or that's included in ubuntu's repository is version 4.1.2 uh bird hippie uh this is the copyright information all the information about it. it's a free and open source you know uh programming language that you can use on your system but or is a collaboration project with many contributors and so yeah you can check out the contributors and all that stuff and right now we're into the interface and i won't go too deep into showing you guys how to use the programming language 
uh, because I'm actually still learning it as well. I just wanted to show you guys how to get the environment set up, you know, on your system. Now let's go down and quit and I'll show you guys how to install our studio, which is the IDE for R. And essentially you could do the exact same thing you could do here from the terminal because most people don't want to, you know, use the terminal, especially if you're new to Linux, but you still have to get into this interface in order to program using this language. But the IDE is simpler to use. So let's go on and quit. And, that, and let me show you guys how to get out of the environment. All you have to do is type Q and it actually tells you right there. Um, and you press enter. And then right here is going to ask you if you want to save your workspace image. And we don't because I didn't do anything. So let's go down and press no and press enter or press the end and press enter. And that'll get us out of the interface. Now, let's go down and install our studio. And the way we do that, we need to go to uh, our studios uh, website and download the package. So all we have to do is type our studio and search that in Google uh, and it's actually post it who actually manages our studio and the our programming language and all that stuff. So they created it, but they do have that IDE. And all we have to do is click on download our studio. Boom. And of course I had a link down in the description of the video to make it easier for you guys to actually get to it. All right, so let's go down and download it. All we have to do is hit download our studio right here. Uh, and then we can scroll down. This will show you guys all the installers. And there's a Windows installer, Mac OS installer, uh, Ubuntu installer, which is what we're looking for, but the Ubuntu 22. Uh, there's Ubuntu 18 plus, plus Debian 10 plus, and then there's a Ubuntu 22. So we want that 22 version because that's what version we have. So right now it's downloading to our um, downloads directory so we pretty much have the package so all we have to do is close that now and let's go down and install our studio and in order to start install a dev package and let me go down and show you guys this uh, package right fast but it's basically a dev package It's recognized by you want to you know it's a dev package that's how you install things you know on a command line now you can right click on this and hit open with another application and then select the software install and that'll install it there but you guys know i like to do things from the command line so we're going to get it done here and all we have to do is uh use a command called dpackage so first you want to type sudo and then dpackage which is dp kg and then dash i and then that package name so we know where it's located it's located in our home directory and i'm gonna do the full path and not the relative path so you guys can you know see uh exactly what i'm installing but uh it's in the downloads directory and then our studio and boom as you can see it's that that's that dev package we just downloaded and we're going to use that dpackage command to install this package from the command line now i anticipate some issues um but i'm gonna leave all of that in the video just to show you guys how to troubleshoot this or fix it in order to get it fully installed on your system you may run into some issues uh but we'll see if they come up and i believe we are yeah right here it says dependency problem preventing configuration of our studio so basically some of these uh dependencies are not at the proper level that is actually looking for when it installs the package and so we'll see once it errors out because i know it's going to error out i tried this before on another system uh and i ran into this issue these packages right here we just have to go on and install them manually uh, it's the lib ssl dev the lib claim dash dev and the lib pq5 so we're going to install all three of those packages you know once this fails so i'll be back when it fails and boom as you can see it says error were errors were encountered why while processing so in order to fix it we need to fix these dependencies so what i'm gonna do is try to run sudo apps uh install and i believe this is gonna cause an issue as well um based on the last time i did this um i ran into some issues where 
but like i said i'm gonna leave all this in the video so in case you guys run into this and it may not happen on other versions of linux like uh ubuntu or ubuntu like ubuntu 20.04 this may not happen there or 18 you know if you start install uh those packages you may not run into those issues i've only seen it on 22.04 so let's go down and try to install this and we're gonna see an issue like i said right here boom the following packages have unmet dependencies and it basically tells you what to do to fix it so uh, all we have to do is type apt dash dash fix dash broken install so if we type that let's uh go sudo apt and then dash as fix dash broken and this will actually fix those uh dependencies and we should be good to go or it'll it'll fix everything for us um and so i'll be back when this finishes now that's complete but we want to verify that those packages were installed so or at least updated uh, so I'm going to run that command again, a sudo apt install, just to run it against those uh, packages again, just to verify they had the newest version. And as you can see, they're all there. It says already has the newest version, already has the newest version, already has the newest version for those packages. So we are good to go. So let's go on and try our D package again against the RStudio dev. And what I'm pressing to go through the commands that I previously ran is the up and down arrow. If you guys haven't seen any of my videos on that navigating through the command line um that's one of the issues i mean that's one of the the things shortcuts you can do to run previous ran commands so let's press enter let's go down and run through the dev package again and as long as we don't see the dependency issue it'll go through and install and so i'll be back when this actually finishes and just to show you guys, we are not seeing any of those errors. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but earlier when I ran the D package command, there was the errors up here at the top before this processing uh, triggers. So um, the error has been fixed. So it should install, no problem. All right, cool. So R Studio is installed. And let's go down to test it out. All we have to do is type R Studio and press enter. And it'll open up our studio for us boom and also i'll show you guys that in a second but as you can see it opens up the console uh just like we did when we opened it up in the command line it's the exact same console but it's in the ide and you have you know your directories uh plots packages you can install other packages on here this is the easiest way to install you know the extra packages that you want on here um I definitely encourage you to use this. Otherwise, you will have to use the command line, the command line to run the package installs, which is not that difficult to do. Uh, but in the console within R, you have to run a command in order to install the packages. But in the IDE, you can install your packages from here, as well as update, install. You know, select what you want, hit install, good to go, and it'll also update your packages or libraries and all that stuff. So. And then also you got your help uh, viewer presentation. So it all depends on what data you're working with. You know what I'm saying? But everything is here for you. That's why I wanted to really focus in on showing you guys how to get our studio installed, you know, on top of the our base so you can develop because uh, it's an easier environment to develop. Now, let me go down and close this right fast. And all we have to do is close it. But I wanted to show you guys, I ran it from the command line, as you saw. But let's go down and exit out of the command line. And I wanted to show you guys, once you got it installed, it'll show up under here as an application. It'll also show R here uh, as an application as well. But R Studio, all we have to do is click that. It'll open it back up. Boom. Good to go. Right here is basically asking you if you want to automatically report crash crashes to the company that's developing this i'm gonna hit no because this system is not going to stay open but as you can see that's all you need in order to get or installed now that's it you have successfully installed and configured you know the r programming language on ubuntu 22.04 as you can see it's a very simple process if you follow you know the steps i put in front of you you guys shouldn't have any problems getting a environment set up so you can start learning the r programming language and so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep the techie